Hello and welcome back to Bloomington Tutors. Today we're going to be doing some lookup functions. We're going to do a VLOOKUP, an HLOOKUP, and an INDEX, which incorporates the MATCH functions. Now lookups are easily one of the most hated parts of doing Excel, but if you follow the tips that we do in this video, it should help you in the long run. Now each sheet is separated by what I'm going to have you do. So first sheet VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, INDEX, and we have a receipt on each page, and the part that you're going to answer is in gray. So we're going to do our first VLOOKUP, and we want to know the order date. Now, in order to do a VLOOKUP, two things must be true. One, our data must be displayed vertically, and two, our lookup value must be in the first column. Let's keep that in mind. So it looks like we're trying to find the order date for Bloomington Tutors. So if we could easily look here, find Bloomington Tutors, and find the order date like this, but we can use a lookup to do that just as well. So we want Bloomington Tutors order date. Well, since Bloomington Tutors is the information that we do have, that's our lookup value. And is it in the first column? Yes, it is. Okay, now our array is just our table. And which column do we want it to spit out? So if our lookup value is in the first column and we want order date, we want column four. And we want an exact lookup, which is false. Bloomington Tutors ordered on January 30th, 2017. Now we want to know what was the order quantity. Again, we're using the same information here. Another V lookup, lookup value Bloomington Tutors. Where will we find the word Bloomington Tutors? Well, on our table. And what row do we want it to spit out? Row 1, row 2. We want row 2. And we want an exact match. So we do false. Enter, 20, and here is their total. Okay, now we're going to do an H lookup. Now, H lookups are very similar to V lookups, they both have the same criteria. Their lookup value must be in the first row or column of the array. And with an H lookup, it has to be horizontally displayed. So now we want to know what is Bloomington Tutors discount. Now the discount, it looks like it's based off of their customer loyalty. So our lookup value is actually not on this sheet. It's on the V lookup tab where we actually have Bloomington Tutors customer loyalty. Now we could do an H lookup and reference the lookup value just as right here. But as you can see, our sheets have a drop down and it can change to any company and information will update. So we don't want to just click into the table and it'll be all messed up. So what we actually have to do is a V lookup inside of our H lookup. I like to do the inside formula first and then work around it. So we'll do that V lookup again. So we're looking up Bloomington Tutors from the table again. This is just like we did before, and we want their customer loyalty, so column 3, and we want an exact match, which means false. Okay, so that's the VLOOKUP, but this VLOOKUP represents our lookup value, so we'll go do our H lookup around it. Here's our lookup value. Where will we find this reference to our customer loyalty? In this array. In which row do we want? Now keep in mind, our lookup value is in the first row, and this is a range. So it's actually row one, two, three, four. We want row four. And since our lookup value is a range, we want an approximate number, so we want true. Close, and there you have it. Bloomington Tutors with a score of 506 gets 30% off. Now finally we'll move on to our index. So now we want to know what is the price for Premier Paper 500 sheets. So we can see here 500 sheets is displayed in a column and our type of paper Premier is displayed in a row. So we'll do our index. Whenever you are given two pieces of information you're going to do an index. So we get an array and in our array we have to include our column headings, comma, our row number is our first match. match. And we want to know the package size, 500 sheets. Where will you find the word 500 sheets? Here. Now with a match, you must go from complete top to complete bottom of your array. 
and what type of match do we want? Exact, so zero. Close. And now we'll do our column headings match. Match. We are matching the word Premiere. Where will we find the word Premiere? Here, all the way left to all the way right, and we want an exact match again. Close, close. So, 500 sheets of Premiere equals $18. Now, if this did not make as much sense to you as you would have liked, be sure to book another session with your tutor. I'm sure that they will be happy to help you out. And again, good luck on your exams from all of us here at Bloomington Tutors.